Recently, my wife and I had just moved into our new apartment. During our move, I came across my old sketchbooks. These sketchbooks range from my time in high school, college, and to my current job as a designer. My sketches are not the best, but today I want to look back and reflect on my old sketchbooks. First, starting with my high school sketchbooks. During this time, I drew a lot of random characters in different scenes for fun. As you can see, some of my drawings are on loose sheets of paper. I later on collected what I could and placed them into a binder. Even though I took several art classes in school, I was very inconsistent with drawing and art. I struggled to complete many of the projects I had planned in these sketches. In college, I still continued to draw, but the majority of my focus was on graphic design. I sketched mostly on large 14 by 11 sheets of tracing paper called Graphics 360. Its large size allowed me to sketch out a lot of ideas on a single page. For how I sketched, I would dump all my ideas onto the paper and sketch from left to right. Because of the large size, I would often leave a lot of room in between sketches. So I would often go back and fill in the remaining areas with more sketches. Some of the negatives are that the pencil marks rub off very easily. This made the sheets very messy to work on. For storage, my professor had us organize these sheets by project into these large yellow folders for grading. I still organize these sheets by yellow folders today. Also at this time, I had started using a bullet journal. Getting a bullet journal made my life so much easier. It was sturdy, secure, and it was small and easy to carry. My bullet journal eventually became part notebook, planner, and sketchbook. With my bullet journals, I sketched mostly for my graphics design classes, and more recently, my work projects. Over time, I found myself taking more notes than actually sketching in my bullet journals. To resolve this, I had recently bought a new sketchbook that I had dedicated only for sketching and my personal projects outside of graphic design. This has really helped me organize my work and motivated me to do more sketching. After going back to review all my old sketches and books, I am glad to see my progress and how I have grown over the years. My sketching has become more consistent and my sketches have been more focused on improving my craft. With that, I plan to keep evolving my process and continue growing my collection of sketchbooks. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.